yourself or your subconscious self. No recall, please. And through the Akashic Records, we want to correct and permanently heal our kidneys, our liver, and the entire endocrine system for good energy, vitality, a long life, perfect health. We must have those main, main organs working, all those tissues, those glands. And if you're releasing emotions right now, that's fine. Release the emotions out of your organs, out of your tissues, out of these past life memories, out of any ancestral genetic coding. Just let everything, with every exhale, just let it all flow out. And I feel a lot of tension and pressure in the jaws <clears throat> and behind the eyes. <clears throat> Just let that clear out as well. And in my throat too, my throat's feeling really gunky. <clears throat> we are open channels to divine light to flow through us to allow for maximal healing. Anything you're hanging on to in your chest, any heavy emotions, old thoughts, let's release those, please. Any tightness in your pelvis, <clears throat> around your hips, around your psoas, Let's unwind that, please. There's so much love and light flowing through our bodies. It's like it's flowing through all the hormonal like secretions and juices. Everything in the physical system, I feel like, is... I'm just getting really overhauled. So again, any dryness, any hoarseness, <clears throat> any areas that show premature aging, let's allow the hormones to go into optimal function. Welcome that healing.
in our entire human sexual apparatus. Let's allow for divine light to de-armor <sighs> anything for fertility, reproductivity, um, <clears throat> menopause, early menopause, men, your prostate, any kind of uh, swelling, anything that just doesn't belong, <sighs> any uh, issues with uh, breast, breast lumps, precancers, any, any, anything like that that has to do with the uh, sex apparatus, <sighs> your sexual desire, your sexual appeal, any sexuality, <sighs> Just letting divinity come through and do what it needs. Any energy centers and any uh, pathways that didn't open yesterday that are ready to open now, let's ask for those to be open in the physical and the energetic bodies, please. While the Akash is open, I'd like to start clearing out the low chakras. Let's start with the root, which is at the tailbone. So you may feel some pressure and tension in your tailbone shortly. Let's put a little more structures and give some little energy boost to your uh, <clears throat> root chakra and your second chakra, your sacral chakra, where you connect to others, intimacy into the world around you. Let's add a little more light in there to allow anything that's ready to release to release today. For yourself and everybody in the group field, please. And I'm gonna add power lines into the low two chakras for everybody. They look like a little golden, uh, like a little golden strand of spaghetti. Your chakra has a front and a back. I'm connecting in through the front. For everybody, okay. <clears throat> the energy's moving so strongly, my jaws hurt. That low chakra holds so much trauma, so much human pain. <clears throat> it's not even your stuff. A lot of survival, a lot of animal kind of fear, grief, safety, tremendous amount of just density. So let's unwind as much as we can today. You may feel it all up and down your spine. You may feel it in the back of your spine. You may feel it around like uh, your groin area. That's fine. It's all chakra release work. And when that area is dense, it's hard for the pelvis to work optimally. You know, we get a lot of congestion, a lot of mucus, a lot of lymph, all this kind of energetic stuff starts manifesting in the physical and then our bodies don't work correctly. And when we build up all this lymph and mucus, then everything gets distorted with the endocrine and we age prematurely and we get depressed and all kinds of things happen. So let's 
really focus on um, putting your energy and focus into unwinding your root chakra and how it expresses in your low uh, lower part of your body. And some of you may be feeling <clears throat> releases going down your legs, your knees. If you're feeling it in your inner knees, let's clear out the little jinshin points. There's little energy spots on the inside of your knees. <sighs> Let's blow that out so the energy can travel all the way down and out your feet. We're releasing any density and any negativity out your psoas, <clears throat> out your groin, out your chakras, out your feet. Some of you may be uh, moving it up your spine and out your brain. That's fine. Some of you are doing release work through your heart emotionally. That's fine too. Some of you may just be having a lot of uh, energy come out of your navel. It's okay. You know, your body has, it, it will release however it can, wherever it can. What we don't want to do, what we don't want to have happen is that your body stores anything, you know, it turns it into tumors and turns it into kind of stagnant lymph and, and illness and so on. We really want to open our systems however they can to help release, release, release. So we're fully surrendered to love and light. Let that flow through us for ourselves and everybody in the group field. A lot of healing going on with the kidneys and the heart right now. you're just joining and you're late to start, please connect to my heart and my navel and set the intention to join the group field and just lie down and just let the energies heal you. We're releasing any and all physical and energetic kind of tension that sits in your pelvis and your low chakras, however it expresses physically and emotionally and in your energy system for yourself and uh, the genetics, your ancestors. All energies are benevolent, they're good. It's just pure love and light from God, from source that's running through you to allow for this healing. We just happen to be in a very powerful group field this morning. We're asking for miracles to happen. For yourself and your loved ones. A lot of pressure in your tailbone. So I find that when the when we're activating the chakras and we're doing release work, and if you feel it in the back, it's old stuff. It's old stuff. Some of it is not even from this lifetime. It's it might be grandma or grandpa expressing their pain through those zones. So let's just release it all out the back and the front too, but out the back in the low chakra specifically. Some of you may have already like moved into the second chakra and you're releasing stuff a little bit higher than in your tailbone. That's fine but it may just be traveling all over your body. That's wonderful. Just allow whatever's happening, just feel into it so you can really feel where the transformation's taking place. And the Akashic records are still open. Any genetic reprogramming that's still taking place. Any of the energy work that we did yesterday, it's still working in the background too. We're really cooking people. If you're getting really cold, cover yourself with a blanket. The ancient programming, so let's release it. We're just bringing in love from the tailbone all the way up to the top of your neck to open the spine.
for some of you that might activate your kundalini, that's okay. You may feel a little bit of heat up and down your spine, that's okay. It's just burning out whatever needs to go. Okay, let's do a little more focused uh, clearing on that second chakra. It sits right beneath the navel. A lot of light coming in that zone. Those power lines coming into those low chakras, they're doing turbo rotorootering on everybody. It looks like a very powerful, like diamond light laser just going into your lower body. If it's too much, if it's too powerful, just you know, turn the volume down. They're showing me those of you that have had like hip injuries and, and groin and um, injuries and have a hard time with uh, yoga and such. It's because there's so much density that sits in those, uh, in those joints. We're unwinding all of that. You should have more mobility and healthier hips as we get older. Let's close the doors to the Akash so the Akashic energies um, won't be channeling anymore. It's just going to be pure divine light working through the, uh, uh, the power lines into the sexual apparatus on the physical and energetic level, please. There's such a big boost going into, en into endocrine glands. Oh my God. a lot of moisture and moistness and uh, just really good kind of juiciness going in and flowing through the whole body. It's like a whole flow is opening up through the glands. It's very healthy, very good. I'm still feeling a lot going on in the tailbone. <clears throat> And uh, like uh, between like the, uh, the, the testes and the anus, like lots of um, energy moving in there. <sighs> lots of old clearing going on, lots of healing going on. <clears throat> and like deep in the navel, but I don't know if it's the navel, it might be the second chakra, but it doesn't matter. Let's just clear it out.
any tension patterns that are genetic tension patterns, fascia tension patterns, any tension patterns that are ready to release, let's use that bioelectric current to help kind of speed up the release on the physical. Just for a few minutes, please. All the other energies are still running in the background and as your system needs them, they're just pulling them in, pulling them in. very transformative field that we're in. We're in the global meditation group field. We're in this um, healing field as well. I feel like there's other fields going on at the same time. People we can ask Merlin for magic and miracles right now. He's completely open. He's just raining magic down on everybody. We're his beloved children. There's nothing Merlin wouldn't do for us. Let's stay just to open channels for divinity. We're just bringing in pure divine white light. <clears throat> a good time to ask for what you want people I'm gonna activate your energizer crystals just to help because there's so much energy flowing through. So I'm just um, bringing in crystals to activate in your system to allow more of this light and divinity to channel through you. And I always urge just a couple more minutes of that bioelectric current, please. That does perform magic and miracles on the physical level. The bioelectric current transmission is absolutely spectacular. feel like there's just like magic sparkles, like magic power going in into our uh, like pelvic region, that whole hip, uh, the low chakras, like there's miracles going on right now. It makes me want to cry. It's like a clearing that's so deep. It's going into the root, like a root of humanity.
and the energy is flowing so strongly. I feel like it's breaking down any obstructions, any blocks, anything that's preventing you from getting your heart's desire. Like it's rotor rooting through your system right now. Ask for what you want. Your mouth is very powerful. Your thoughts are very powerful. Ask for what you need. It's like rain, like magical rain is just uh, channeling through us. It's breaking down any blocks, any obstructions, any obstacles. Let's bring in some energy <clears throat> to clear out the samskaras. The samskaras hold our little personality distortions, but they show up as little uh, golden marbles, like they're perfectly in perfect sequence, perfect order. So let's de-densify uh, all the samskaras that are sitting in our system uh, for this um, sexual healing and the whole physical healing is as it expresses um, you know, with sexual desire, sexual appeal, and the endocrine system, the physical organs and tissues. Let's also spend a couple of minutes optimizing the stem cells. It's hard for anything in the human body to correct and heal without optimizing active stem cells. So much good energy, so much love, light, divinity, just flowing through, helping optimize our hormones, optimize all organs, all of our tissues, any of those endocrine glands, the stem cells. Let's optimize our immune system, especially going into this colder season. Optimize that human sewer system, the colon, the lymph, the liver, and how all of that flows from the bottom all the way through the brain. We want to open all pathways to allow that um, human sewer system to really nicely clean itself out very regularly so it doesn't congest and get anything else uh, congested in our system. And on an energetic level, let's just increase our vibration. Let's increase our sexy vibration. So how we vibrate to others, 
how uh, we come across to others and how we vibrate within ourselves. Let's bring that up a notch, bring that up an octave. Let's have a really high positive vibration. It's been working overnight. Uh, we activated it yesterday during the healing, but it's been working on everybody. So let's bring everybody up to speed. So have a very nice, sexy desire, sexy appeal. Just permanently allow that to work in the background. So when you walk into a room, you're a magnet, not just for sex, but you know, just, you just have a very good vibe. <laughs> and sometimes if you want to turn this vibe up, just in your mind's eye, just turn up the volume. It'll turn on all that kind of animal instinct as well. so powerful it's making me dizzy <laughs> I feel like the uh, sexy vibe is like a funnel it's like a vortex it's spinning so fast it's like sucking you guys up <laughs> beautiful energy oh, by the way my body is completely numb my lips my jaw everything is just cold and numb so much movements taking place right now just allow it allow it through your system and thank divinity thank divinity for its magic for its love and light and the healing we've had phenomenal transformation we need time to integrate and catch up so vortex healers if you can activate <clears throat> the grid and a vortex and whatever anything else you can to allow the systems to catch up and integrate and the integration looks like a big top. It looks like a big life field that's spinning around you, all this kind of flotsam and jetsam and all these kind of Christmas light, and it just spins around you faster and faster and faster. That's how the um, um, different components of your energy system get caught up. It just spins faster. It's like a washing machine. Everything gets caught up and it needs integration. For some of you, you may be integrating for the rest of the day. You may be might be integrating tonight, overnight as well. That's okay. It's a beautiful thing. And for some people, when you're still integrating, when you look in the mirror, you may might feel a little bit dizzy and spinny. It's okay. It's a good thing.
I feel like we're not only integrating our system, but there's like this big super toroidal field around this whole group field. And I almost feel like we gave humanity some sexual healing. Amazing. Like it's just so far reaching. Like I, I can't even see how far all the um, kind of um, light just went. It's like the veins of light, the, ve the webbing and the, the power lines just went way beyond anything we were doing. As the integration and catch up is spinning all around you, I'm going to bring in and amplify the templates from Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit. They carry so much positive, romantic, horny light. Let's bring it in. They look like little red window panes floating in from above. Two red window panes are filled with like sparkle and they're just dropping in through your head and all the way down your body down to your feet and then they evaporate. The fun make-believe characters of Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit. So sweet and funny and romantic. And sexy and curvy and goofy. Those templates are bringing all of that into your system. We're still integrating. We're still catching up the entire system. Lots of good stuff happened this morning. Some of you may be spinning like top speed still. And some of you may be just the spin may be slowing down a little bit. So you're able to kind of wiggle your toes and wiggle your fingers. If you want to stay in, in that kind of in, uh, integration field, that's fine. It's really good stuff. It feels very nice. And let's bring back your body heat so you warm up a little bit. Let's just ask your body to regulate its temperature in a better way now so you can come into the present a little bit more. Again, we're bringing up your body heat. We're bringing you physically and mentally back into the present. I'll slow down my breath. You can start paying attention to your breath a little bit more. Some of you are still spinning. I can feel it in my jaws, like there's all this tightness. <laughs> Oh my God, this is so cool. We're still catching up and integrating, but it'll continue. Let me do one more quick thing for everybody. Let's activate a 24 hour program to keep the energies uh, optimizing in the background and keep your system catching up and integrating for the next 24 hours for sure. Wherever needed, however needed for yourself and everyone that you uh, connected your heart to. 
and just the entire group field. Some of you may be able in your mind's eye to see him. He looks like blue-green cosmic and she looks kind of pinkish-orange cosmic and they're dressed in their Hindu garb and um, they just smile. They just have like love coming out of their smiles for each of us, for all of us. And if you can't see it, it's fine. It's like, it's like their breath is just love falling on us. A lot of you are still out. It's fine. This was a very, very strong healing. Some of you may still feel the vortex in your spine where your vibration is going up. Some of you may feel that kind of toroidal field around you where everything, all this kind of lights and flots and jets and is spinning. That's all the catch up and integration work. Um, some of you may feel uh, Krishna and Radha just blowing kisses on you. Some of you may feel nothing. You just might be asleep and that's fine. Um, some of you may be bringing up the heat in your body to bring you back into space and time. Some of you still see stem cells. You see these little golden, not golden, like a diamond white, just uh, like hyperactivated cells all in your body and kind of out on the periphery of your body. Some of you may still be channeling those like red uh, sparkly uh, window panes with the energy of uh, Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit. It's all fine. It's all beautiful. They're all gifts from, from, div from the divinity. Your bodies may be buzzing. Your pelvic region may still be buzzing. Um, your tailbones may feel a little bit sore, you know, like somebody kind of hit you back there. Uh, it'll go away. You had a lot of movement, a lot of energetic release work, a lot of physical movement as well. Okay, it's seven minutes after the hour. I'm gonna stop breathing. I just need to calm down for like 30 seconds so I won't speak. Feel like our force field was so strong that divinity pushed out, like used our systems to channel out all this goodness into humanity. Like the whole world got a healing. Oh, people, thank your ancestors. Thank your family. Thank you for all the good genetics that they gave you and how everything wonderful is able to express itself through you and how your systems are so beautiful and strong that you can like power all this love and light that they couldn't, that you can, like you're all superheroes.
Every single one of you carries so much love and light and magic. And Radha and Krishna are showing me that they put in all these like sparkles and they blew all this like love into our hearts because they want to fulfill our heart's desires. That they're always with us. That your guides and the masters and the angels and even the all powerful superheroes, they are always with us. All we have to do is ask ask for what we need, ask for what we want for ourselves and people in our lives and humanity in general. Our intentions are extremely powerful. Anyone that needs to hop off, go ahead. It's, um, I kept you a few minutes uh, after, I'm sorry. If you need to go, you can go. All this will be working for the next 24 hours programmed in the background, but I'm going to keep the group field open, uh, this field and the group field from the other weekend where we worked on the face. It's I'm just making it all one big group field. So if you can't feel the energies and you want to like re-beautify your face or you want to do more pelvic release work or endocrine work or whatever, any of the stuff that we've done, just either plug into my heart and then go into the group field or just go directly into that created sphere and it, you'll start buzzing. You'll start feeling the energies again, whether it's to activate that champagne with all those kind of fountain of youth bubble energies or anything else that, that you can remember um, that you want to activate. It's all sitting in there. It's outside of space and time. It's just waiting for you just to tap in. And it's very powerful energy. <sighs> Super powerhouse, super powerful. Thank you, Karen. Yes, Karen, powerhouse. But you are powerhouse, Karen Goldman. All of you, amazing. I mean, none of this would happen without you. We're like, um, we're just like little fuses and we connect together and then we just create this whole like huge fuse box that, fuse box that can just power a huge house. And that's what we're doing. Together, we're much more powerful than we are alone. Ah. Let me read your comments really quickly. Uh, Jason, the Radha and Krishna Puja. I know it came in at the very end. <laughs> Uh, pets. Yes. Kissy. I hope Kissy got a really good healing. You know, with animals, 